Hi guys, this is Lila Batamzo, also known as Galopa Z. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Today is Monday and I just have a short message that I'm just going to show you right now that I was led to share. And after that, I have other messages for you within the video. So just keep in touch, stay tuned, and don't forget to share my videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love you guys. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for 14,500 subscribers. I'm sure we're going to hit 15,000 subscribers this week. Hi guys. This is Lila Matams, also known as Global Z. Hope you're fine. I pray that you're blessed. It's a new week. And I'm just here to encourage one or two people with just a short message. I'm led to just share this word. And I hope you'll be encouraged. Before I start, let me just sing this song. You are Yahweh. Yeah, you are Yahweh. You are simply means God is Yahweh. He is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Many a times in our lives, we might be going through certain situations and we want to even give up because we'll be thinking this life is not going well for me. Everything that I'm experiencing is just not right. I think I'm cursed. I think my life is just going wayward. Never give up. Guys, I've shared a few of my testimonies and those of you who know me personally know that my testimonies are bigger than what I even share on social media. That is why I'm always, always encouraging people not to give up on God, not to give up on the promises of God. Because the moment you give up, you lose your life, certain things happen to you and you just lose track. I just want to tell you this that God will never lie God will never lie in your life in our lives whatever he has said will be will be but it is us who often fail him by going astray when you focus on God his promises come to pass everything that you've been, been believing God for do come to pass Guys, I just shared images of my daughter who has traveled to France. Those of you who saw my testimony last year, I was celebrating. And I explained to you guys in a video that it took 10 years for certain things to happen. I was patient. I waited. Whilst others were in a hurry, others would even mock you. Like, oh, your life, your, you, you, things are not going well for you. And you'll be thinking, oh my goodness, my life is not going well for me. People are saying this and that. Forget people. People will always talk. Like my mom will say, wakalanda wakanaka. People will say what they have to say. But remember, God has a final say over your life. Not a human being. People who have opinions about you, whether you are doing good or bad. So what more if things are not going well for you? So forget. Focus on God. Praise him. Worship him. And he will open doors you never expected. 
if i tell you some of my testimonies right now you'll be wondering like okay so this is what you went through and you still came on facebook to encourage us not to give up i never gave up i have never given up and each time i hold on to god i draw closer to him i keep seeing testimonies miracles open doors opportunities god is connecting me to different types of people i was sharing on my whatsapp status some videos of some musicians in zambia dmk minister collins they were singing on stage and I was like, whilst these guys are singing on stage, winning souls at a crusade in Mufulira, some guys I know on my WhatsApp somewhere are sharing how they are smoking shisha on their WhatsApp. And it's cool, right? They are smoking shisha. Look, there's no greater joy in this world than you serving God. You know, at the end of the day, you smoke your shisha. What is your end result? You have cancer. You have all these diseases. And then you start seeking God. When you are young, now, and youthful, and you have the energy, this is the time to praise God. Not when you are in your sick bed. No. When everything is fine, everything is going well, praise God. Worship Him. Hold on to him. There is no time to joke around, to be smoking shisha and posting on your WhatsApp status and showing us all these cleavages of how, you know, ladies have got the biggest butts or whatever. There is no time for those things. I commented on a post where Anita Zanji unbuttoned her shirt and she was apologizing for her videos that had leaked. And I was like, the shirt has buttons, right? But you've left them deliberately open. Guys, don't even waste time on such things. For me, what I would say is it's better you spend time in the presence of God. The other day I woke up from my sleep and I was singing Sony Badu song. You know, and I was like, you see, this is how it is when you are drawing yourself closer to God. You're singing songs of worship. You wake up singing. The other, yesterday I woke up singing, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Yeah, you are Yahweh. I went straight to YouTube to look for the song by Steve Crown and I downloaded it. I started listening to it. That's what you need. You don't need to be playing around, joking around. There is no time. Yes, people say you can have fun. You can do whatever. But remember, always put God first in everything you are doing. He is all you need now i'm going to share a video of an event that is taking place this saturday in zambia at the blessing center and i am inviting you guys to get your tickets and be there it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be glorious christine chilesho bwalia Ephraim and many other artists from Zambia. It's only about 100 questions, so watch this advert. See you on my next video. It's a girl, Lama Tams, also known as Gelo Z. You don't have to be the best singer to sing for God. You don't have to be the best dancer to dance for God. God will receive praise and worship from those who diligently seek Him. When we lift up our hands in praise and worship, we break spiritual jars of perfume over Jesus. The fragrance of our praise fills the whole earth and touches the heart of God. A pure heart is nothing more than being real with God and not pretending to honor and adore Him. Are you willing to do this? Worship God freely. Sometimes the hurt that we have for ourselves is the greatest enemy. Failing to forgive ourselves is worse than other people's rejection. But it is in the season of greatest rejection that we discover the fullness of God's own heart. Where the joy runs full and over. So our deepest heartaches will turn to our deepest joys. When we embrace Him for the sake of Christ. To gain Him, to be found in Him, to know Him intimately through His sweet presence.
Mama, 